Hello, thanks for stopping by the video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to choose the right stake pool to stake to. Uh, there's a couple different factors that go into this, but you also got to keep uh, decentralization of the network in mind. And it's also good to support other community members that are really helping other people out. Because there's a lot of guys in the Telegram that have stake pools that just sit in there for hours of the day just helping people create stake pools or helping people with information like this. But so to, to jump right into it, we're just going to go to uh, the Daedalus Incentivized Testnet and we're going to look at uh, just kind of so what you guys see when you're trying to delegate to a pool. So the rank right now, it's, it's meaningful. There were some network issues at the beginning of the week last week when stake pools were released. So a lot of smaller pools, uh, they, they weren't really given the chance. Like, for example, this performance is 67%. Um, that, that you just the performance thing right now is messed up. I'm going to explain to you guys later in the video how the performance works. But due to there being network errors that wasn't on stake pool owners, it wasn't their fault. It was actually the network as a whole, and it was because everyone was getting online at the same time. So just don't really pay attention to rank or performance right now. It's going to be important here in a couple of weeks when everything's kind of leveled out. But so rank is kind of meaningless right now. So then controlled stake. Controlled stake is really important because there's this thing in the network called saturation. So if a pool has more than a percent of the entire ADA staked, that pool then becomes saturated. So to explain that, so say a pool is at 1%, that's the cap. If anyone else stakes to them, the everyone who's delegated to them are going to make less money if the pool is at 1%. So to, to take a look at this, you can go to adapools.org. I'll have this in the link down below. But we can, I have my pooled up right now. So you can see pool size. I have 0.01% of the entire network staked. And that's 0.84 million. So then if we go look at some saturated pools, because uh, this is ranked based on who has the, the most stakes. So if we look at IOHK pool one, these guys are making a lot less money because they're they're six percent almost over the saturation point, and that's that's ridiculous. You, you want to keep that. You want the network to be central decentralized, and when you have so many people, seven percent of the entire network stake to one pool. That's not decentralization. That is, this one pool owns seven percent of the network. So what what they did to penalize that is make to make less money. They 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 put a saturation point. So to stay away from the saturation points, you kind of want to stick with smaller pools, and that's when um, that's when smaller pools like mine come in come into effect. But we'll go back to Daedalus and keep looking at the other stats. So then now we're onto the profit margin. So this is the percent that the pool takes out of the reward. So so you get so oh I also want to talk about the uh, for the controlled stake. This is important as to how many how much you get paid as well. So a lot of people in the United States at least get paid like weekly or bi-weekly, so every Friday or every other Friday. So think about your controlled stake is that how much you're getting paid. So although the higher the amount, the closer you are getting to the saturation point, it also gets you paid more per epoch. So you get paid by the block. So the higher amount of ADA that you have is the more amount of blocks that you get. So, for example, 337 million, we'll just say this guy gets around 300 blocks per epoch. So each epoch lasts about a day long. So this guy is paying his delegates 337 times in that epoch because that's how many blocks he's getting. And it might not update that fast for you guys, but you're getting a lot, paid a lot more versus if you had a smaller pool, like mine, for example, with 0.8 million. I get a block about every other epoch, but it's more than every other. It's probably, I would say probably like 0.8% of the time I get an epoch. So if you guys are staked to my pool, you get paid a little less, but you're never gonna have to worry about the saturation point, and it's also the same amount. So you get paid less frequently, but the amount that you get paid is the exact same as it would be with these higher pools, and sometimes even more. But because it, to me, it seems like it's a little easier to get luckier if you're a small pool. But that's important. You guys just want to make sure that you, you got to pick the amount that you want to get paid. And then you also got to pick the um, or you got to pick how, how frequently you want to get paid based on the controlled stake in the network. So then if we go into the profit margin. So this is the amount 
of money that the pool takes from each block. So I mentioned that a pool gets so many blocks per epoch. This is the amount of, of money that's taken from each block. So it says 7%. So this isn't the amount that you guys are delegating. This is out of the block amount before you guys are even paid. So, so say a block is 100 data, which is small. It's going to be a lot bigger than that. That means this pool right here, Clio.1, is going to take 7% of the block. So if it's 100 ADA, they're going to take 7 ADA out of the 100. So that, that means it's going to leave the delegates 93 of the ADA left. So then say you have 5% of that 93, you're going to get paid 5% of that 93 to your rewards because that's after the percent was taken. And I know a lot of people are like wondering, like, oh, these guys are taking a lot of money. Uh, servers are really, really expensive, guys. I'm just going to tell you, and to be full transparency, uh, like my fee right now is 5%. Uh, the odds of me actually getting the money back that I've put into this or the time back is, is zero. Uh, the servers are so expensive. You need backup servers. You have to spend hours in a day constantly watching it, especially when the network's kind of wishy-washy right now. You got to spend a lot of your time making sure everything's running great, making sure you're you're being good to your delegates. And a lot of people are getting mad about 5% fees or even people have 10% fees. You got to realize all the time, effort and money that's going into this and this is a biased perspective, but yeah, we are making next to nothing on this and just a small fee like 5%, it isn't going to really hurt your wallet cuz all you're doing is pressing a button. And um, so we'll go to cost per epoch. So I mentioned earlier, the epoch's about a day long. So whatever this fee is, is the amount that's gonna be taken per epoch. So when they finally receive a block and they get one, one block per epoch and their cost is one. So say they have 8% out of 100 plus one ADA, that means it'll be essentially 9% because they get one block per epoch. So the epochs are a day long, like I mentioned. So if, if they're getting multiple blocks, per epoch, less is going to be taken out of each block. Um, it, it, I would honestly just stay away from pools that have a big cost per epoch, like anything over one ADA I think is too high unless it's like a really, really big pool. But So then now we're going to go to performance. I mentioned earlier that this stat is actually messed up right now, but it's probably going to be fixed soon. But just realize that a lot of these small pool owners, even though they have like 0%, 10%, it's not it's not their fault because of what happened at the beginning of the network. There's too much congestion, so it, it, it ruined a lot of people's performance. But this will be stabilized within the next couple of weeks when people have time. So so the way that this percentage is found, so during epochs, I mentioned earlier that depending on your amount of controlled stake, you're giving a certain amount of blocks per epoch. So if you're given 10 blocks in one epoch and you show up to all 10 blocks you get 100 percent so it's going to be the amount of blocks that you showed up to that you were scheduled divided by the amount of blocks scheduled so if you had if you got 10 blocks and there were 10 blocks you get 100 percent if you got eight blocks and there were 10 blocks you get 80 percent so that's the overall per pool performance and this is a good metric it is a good stat because you don't want your pool to be missing blocks at all but because of the network issues, it is messed up right now. So give smaller pools a chance. Like for example, my pool right now is zero and it's just messed up. It, it, everything's fine, my pool's running great, and, and but the performance stat is messed up. But I, I give it a week time, my performance will probably be at 90 to 99%, just, just due, to, due to the issues are finally being fixed now. But yeah, that's really about it. Uh, when you, you just got to worry about decentralization, uh, helping out small community members that are really putting the work in and not really getting much from it uh, when you're when you're choosing a pool. And you also want to think about how much money you want to make. Uh, I wouldn't choose a pool that's taking more than seven percent profit margin, in my opinion. You, you just kind of you gotta you want it to be decentralized. You want a pool with small stake because the smaller really is the better. You don't want to reach the saturation point. And you just, it's good to help out community members. And you also want to make some money because that's, that's obviously what some people are in this for is to uh, get the most percentage back on their ADA that they purchased, that they invested in. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions about anything about uh, your own stake pools, about joining a stake pool, 
about any things in this video, just feel free to comment down below. I'll help anybody out with anything. I like helping out the community. But uh, if you guys would like to help me out, uh, you can guys can just delegate to my pool. It's called Pay Ada Stig Pool, uh, or donate to my bat on my YouTube channel or my Cardano um, address down below. I also have a Bitcoin address down there. But really, just a like on the video and a comment uh, really helps me out. It makes me smile. I like helping the community out. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy staking.